we'd like to simplify the quantity 3x squared y squared times the quantity xy cubed quantity squared all divided by the quantity xy cubed. We're going to assume that x and y are non-zero. We're going to need our properties of exponents and we're going to simplify each piece as we go along and then we'll simplify the entire fraction at the end. Using our exponent laws, we're going to take this outside exponent of 2 and apply it to each factor inside the parentheses. So we will get 3 squared. Now we have an x squared already inside the parentheses. We need to then apply the property where we multiply exponents. We'll have an x to the fourth. Why? And again, we'll apply this outside exponent to come up with y squared. Our second piece, again, we're applying an outside exponent of 2. Apply that to each factor inside the parentheses. We'll have x squared. y cubed needs to again have the outside exponent applied through multiplication. So we'll have y to the sixth. Our denominator will apply the outside exponent 3 to each factor inside the parentheses. Simplifies to x cubed y cubed. Let's clean up this numerator. 3 squared we can easily compute to be 9. As we go left to right we're looking for like bases to again apply the properties of exponents where if we're multiplying like bases we add exponents. An x to the fourth and an x squared we have like bases 4 plus 2 simplifies to an exponent of 6. A y squared and a y to the sixth power simplifies to y to the eighth. Our denominator is still the same. Now we're ready to simplify the remaining fraction. Notice we have like bases being divided. The property for like bases being divided is to subtract the exponents. So I have x to the sixth divided by x cubed. So I'll have x to the sixth minus 3 becomes x to the 3. y to the eighth divided by y cubed. Again, we'll subtract exponents. y to the 8 minus 3 becomes y to the 5th. So simplifying our original expression, our answer is 9x cubed y to the 5th.